I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Easter candy and Easter eggs, foreground, midground, and background. I'm going to come about right about here, one third, and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, big curve line down off the page. I come back to my dot. I draw straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, big curve line down, off the page. Right about here, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw an oval, and right next to it, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw another oval, okay? Now I come over here on the left, and I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, connect, jump over, let's draw another curve line up down off the page come back to the left we're going to draw a curve line up down connect come right here in the center we're going to draw a curve line up down connect and one more big curve line up down off the page I come back to the left and right on this bottom space, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way down. We're all going to end up with a different amount because we all draw differently. Then I come over on the right hand side, and I'm going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy, 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 wavy line off the page. I'm going to leave this space alone, but I'm going to come up to the center one and I'm going to go zigzag, 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 connect, underneath, zigzag, 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 underneath, zigzag, zigzag, underneath. Some of you might have more, some of you might have not as many. We all draw differently. Now in this last space, I'm just going to fill in with some baby circles, just in this space, okay? Alright, now I start over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, come back to the dot, draw a curve line over, connect, Come up to the dot again, draw a big curve line up, over, connect. Inside, right here, I draw one, two, three curve lines. I come down and I draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Come back to the inside, draw a curve line, and then little straight lines inside. Okay, let's do it again. Come over here in the center, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line down, up, come back to the dot, curve line in, over, connect, come back to the dot, big curve line up, over, connect. Come on the inside and draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Come down and draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy, wavy line. Come back to the top, inside, draw another curved line, and then little straight lines inside. If you have room, let's try and do one more. Put a dot, curve line down, up, go back to the dot. Curve line in, connect, come back to the dot, curve line up, over, connect, come down inside, wavy, wavy, wavy line, 
wavy, wavy, wavy line. Come back to the top. One, two, three curved lines. Come on the inside, draw a curved line up, over, connect. Little straight lines inside. Okay? Now, starting over here at the bottom, I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to put a straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight line up, connect. In the center, straight line, spiral, straight line, spiral. If you have room, come over here, let's do another one, put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line up, connect, straight line spiral, straight line spiral. If you have room, maybe put a little teeny tiny, put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight down, straight line up, straight line down, straight diagonal up, connect, little teeny spiral, spiral. Next, fill in some space with baby circles. Okay? If you don't have room, don't fill it in. If you do have room, put some baby circles in here to fill up the space. Okay, I think that's all of the drawing. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the whole concept behind this is this bunny is so big you can't even see the rest of him. So this is the foreground. The Easter eggs decorated in the background or in the middle ground or really in the middle ground. And then the far away parts are the baskets, Easter baskets and then these butterflies. I went through my crayons and found as many different colors as I could. But to start, these are those Peeps bunnies. If you're in another country, you might not know what these are. They're sugar, sugar marshmallow candies that usually come out for Easter. So I'm going to do my eyes black. Like I said, the rest of the face is so big you can't see the rest of it. And I'm going to color the whole entire space pink. Now, when you have a drawing that is this complicated with all kinds of detail, you might not want to color it all in. So what I do is I get my crayon bag, I find as many colors as I can, and I work my way through using each color and then putting it to the side. Now, because my bunny is all pink, I don't want to use pink on any of these Easter eggs behind in the middle ground, but I can use pink up here on my basket. So I did a bottom layer, I did an egg, I did a bottom layer, pink, and I did another egg, and then I did a bottom layer, and then I did another egg. And that's how I work my way through all the colors. So my next color I'm going to do is yellow. So I'm going to start down on this egg and do an AB, AB pattern, yellow, and then I'm going to come up to my zigzags. I'm going to do this AB, AB pattern, yellow. I'm going to come up to my little basket, so I'm going to do the handle yellow and an egg yellow. So I'm working my way from the top to the bottom to the middle point of the picture with my color so it's all balanced. You want a balanced picture. And I made my butterflies yellow. So I've got a good amount of yellow, which is a spring color, all throughout my drawing. Next. I love this green. It's foam green. I don't know where I got it, but I like it as a contrasting color. So I did all of these baby circles in my Easter egg using this green. Then I did all the baby circles outside using this green. So again, I'm making sure everything is balanced with color. And then, because I like 
this color green. I used it on the top part of my baskets up here. Now you can use any colors you want. These are just the color combinations I have. And you might have better crayon colors than I do. But like I said, these are the ones that I use. Next, I wanted to do a solid color, so I picked orange for this egg. So it contrasts nicely next to my bunny, pink bunny. Then I jumped over and I did this side orange. Again, trying to keep it all balanced, my picture balanced. Down here I did some orange. So I've got my middle ground with orange. Now, I think that's it. Then I came over with my blue green and I did the B part of my ABAB pattern on this egg. And I think, yeah, I think that's it. Then I came in with a different color, blue, and did the top A part of my AB pattern on this egg. Okay. Then I came in with purple and I did this color around my baby circles. And to keep it balanced, I did my inside wavy wavy lines on my basket purple. And I put in a little purple egg. Okay, and again, you can make your own choices for colors. These are just the ones that I use. Then I used every green I could think of for this egg on the side. So I think this is apple green. This is that blue again. This is regular green. Okay, so I filled it all in. Looks like I missed some baby circles. So you can see it takes me a while to do all the coloring. I colored a lot better on my final project, but this gives you the general idea. And then, because I can't leave anything alone, I took my blue and I did some straight lines in the background. So we've got backgrounds, we've got middle ground, and we have our giant peeps rabbit foreground. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my project all colored in. Big Peeps Rabbit foreground, Easter eggs, midground, background baskets, and butterflies. Okay, bye bye.